to celebrate the 100th birthday of the first electronic musical instrument next year, may I present to you here on Kickstarter the tube theremin, a fully working recreation with, as you can see, with four tubes of the original theremin. Now let me tell you a little bit about theremins. A theremin is named after Russian physicist Lev Terman, or better known in the Western world as Leon Theremin, and he originally called his instrument the ether phone, probably because the sound is a little bit ethereous or ethereal. He invented it in 1920 and did patent it in 1928 and sold the patent to RCA. You can see in the background some pictures of Leon Theremin and some of the original Theremins, which are quite bulky. They were probably so large just because electronics in that time, the tubes, the transformers, etc., coils and whatever, were much larger than today. And there has been a resurgence of interest in theremins in the last decades. They were used in some pop music tunes like Good Vibrations from the Beach Boys, where, to be honest, that was a variation of the theremin. Or when Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin performed Whole Lotta Love Live, he also used a theremin. And they were used in, or even are used until today, in dozens of science fiction movies. And the basic working is, you can see you have two antennas. Uh, one is for the pitch. So if you're, I will demonstrate this to you at the end of the video. If you're nearing your hand, then the pitch goes up. And the second antenna here is for the volume. So if you're nearing your hand, the volume goes down. And thereby with just the movement of your two hands, you control pitch and volume of the theremin. And there is a well-known kind of silicon version with ICs from British music instruments company Moog, who invented the synthesizer. But what we wanted is to recreate the theremin as near to the original as possible with next to no silicon. We didn't come out completely without silicon. Um, by the way, when you think of, or when you hear of tubes, uh, you usually think, aren't they, da they dangerous? Don't they have high voltage inside them? Well, usually yes, but the developer of the circuit, Burkhard Kainka, which by the way is the namesake of our co company, Kainka Labs, he's a well-known physics and electronics teacher in Germany, and his special interest is in the tube hobby and the ham radio hobby, and the theremin is the ideal combination of the two hobbies because tubes are used and we have two radio oscillators here which produce the frequencies that are controlled by your hand. And he has also developed a lot of tube experimental kits with low voltages. So uh, the only thing to power this is just a special 12 volt plug adapter. Um, this serves just for the heating of the tubes. As you may know, each tube inside has a heater to produce the electrons. And the dangerous voltage is usually the anode voltage, but this is reduced here to 40 volts. We have selected special tubes that work here with only safe 40 volts DC. And the only piece of silicon we needed are three discrete transistors to form a ring oscillator to produce the 40 volts. So although all the components are open, there is absolutely no danger in touching this. And this makes it absolutely safe in the household. And you can, because it's fully working, you can of course also use it on stage if you want to, but be a little bit careful with the tubes. So, and if you want to, you could plug in directly at the output, which is a standard stereo 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You could, in theory, directly plug in some headphones to listen to your the sound that you produce, the music that you produce, but tubes only can drive high impedance headphones like 
This one, uh, which is a Sennheiser from the 1970s, this has two capsules with each two kilo ohms. So all in all, this makes four kilo ohms. So there's no problem with them, but you can only get such high impedance headphones on the second hand market at eBay. If you plug in a modern headphone with only eight to 32 ohms, you won't hear anything because the tubes can drive voltage, but they cannot drive current and the modern headphones need current. So simple solution is connect this via the 3.5 millimeter stereo output to your audio amplifier and you can hear then from your stereo amplifier the sound. Perhaps, I don't know if you can see the little red glow from the heater, that's probably only visible if I would dim the lights a little bit, but that and they are, as you know, tubes get warm, not these ones, not so hot that you cannot touch them. Um, but the heater inside them uh, really produces some heat. So, and you might see there are two little trimmers here and one what looks like a potentiometer. The trimmers are factory set. These uh, control that when your hands are away from the antennas, that frequency and volume is zero. And with the center, it's in fact not a potentiometer, it's a variable capacitor. With that, you tune when you're in different environments. Uh, you can simply tune the pitch to zero when you're hand is away or you can also play around this to get different pitches here depending on how near your hand gets and if this ever becomes out of adjustment uh, you only need just such a one dollar or one euro screwdriver to reset them to their correct settings uh, we will explain this uh, in the manual so i'm not a theremin player i can only demonstrate to you the effect and to finish this video, we'll make some sound. Not Let's not call it music. We'll make some sound with the theremin just to show you the working. So if you like this Kickstarter campaign, what you get is uh, a fully working adjusted theremin. It will look nearly exactly like the prototype. We might perhaps select for a different case and some different screws here to connect the antenna to the inside electronics, but basically it will look 99% like the one you see here. Included is of course the, the special power adapter, special because you cannot use any 12 volt power adapter. A theremin has to be connected to protective earth. That's part of how it works, which I'll explain in, in another video about how the electronics work. And uh, this one has this feature that it is uh, connected or the ground of the output is connected to protective earth. It might even be that your uh, power outlet does not have a connection to protective earth. Thereby we have this four millimeter banana jack here to make a separate connection uh, to earth in, in case of this is, uh, if this happens or if this is the case at your home. So I hope you uh, like this and find interest in the tube theremin. And now as promised, let's make some sound with it. So in for a demo, when I'm coming here with my hand, you hear the typical theremin sound, which you can modulate in pitch just with your hand. And with the other hand, you control the volume, which you can, when you touch it even, nearly completely suppress and so with both of your hands you're controlling volume and pitch and you can also play around with the kind of zeroing variable capacitor here for example if you set it that with no hand you have already have a tone then you have this effect and if you set it in the other direction Then the tone becomes first of all lower and then higher again. Can extend this effect a little bit more. So you 
now have the zero point here where the tone vanishes and then it becomes higher again. That's not the usual setting, just set it here and you have the typical theremin sound. Okay, you see I'm not very talented, but that shall be it for a demo, that it really works and produces a genuine, original theremin sound. So, thanks for watching. And I would be glad if you become a backer and either get one of these tube theremins, handmade in Germany by the way, or just become a backer to learn about the progress of the project.